Hi everybody, Jessie here. Long time no see. Anyway, I had recently done a card on Ustream. I don't have it on me. It's packed away for a crop. But I had made a wood plank background. And I'm going to show you the technique I used and how I did it here. So, first of all I have, this is the cherry wood veneer paper from Simon's Stamp. And the product code is a CWV. So that's the little label they put on it for you. Um, I've cut this piece to four by five, four inches by five and a quarter of an inch. Um, I have my bone folder. I have my Martha Stewart scoring board. I have walnut stain, gathered twigs, and vintage photo distressing. I used black in the original. I don't think I'm going to use it in this one. I also have an uh, ink blending tool. I would love to be using the round one, but it still hasn't gotten here yet. But it's on its way. So first things first, because it's a wood paper, I'm going to score it from the back, which will give me the mountain on the other side. And I just kind of make random different sizes. And you can probably hear the paper kind of snapping, which is okay. That's what I want. So. Yeah, I'm just kind of whatever sizes I want. That one's a little big, but that's okay. having a little bit of issues because I'm trying to stay in frame as well as do this and it's not cooperating very well okay so if you look on this side you can kind of and you can see where there's lighter ones so I'm going to put it back down and I'm going to rescore this one because it's not quite raised up enough I may just give them all one more. Oops, go over here. Just to make sure they're all nice and deep that they're going to pick up the ink when I go to do that. So you've got that and you can see the paper kind of curls which will be fine once we lay it down. So now I'm gonna go this way and line it up at the top. And I'm just going to kind of randomly score. Sorry about that, my son was calling. So, And I kind of ripped it up here, but that's okay. I'll live with it. And I just kind of find where there's a line, like where there's going to be one of the scores. And I just, wherever I feel like it, wherever it kind of slips in. And when you do the vertical ones, because my paper, the grain in the paper is running vertically, I have to be a little more careful because it's way easier to rip the paper. So, I don't want another one there. I'm not really worried about it being uber, uber straight or anything of that nature. I'm just kind of getting the rough idea. Oh, that one doesn't want to work. Getting the rough idea for the planks here. Sorry about lighting and everything, you guys. I really got to figure out a better setup for this. I heard you. There we go. And when you turn it over, you can kind of see the vertical lines and stuff. Um, the next step before I start inking it is I'm going to take my paper or my craft knife and I'm going to go where all of these little squares are and I'm going to cut out a tiny little V. Um, where's that line? There it is. I'm really going to have to figure out some better lighting. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. Come out. C 
see that? And then again down the other side. Finally across the bottom. Then I'm just going to pull in my craft sheet and I just cut mine so that they fit easier for me to work with. And first things first, I'm going to take the vintage photo and I just got a piece of scratch paper beside me here just to make sure that I've got exactly what I want here. And I'm just going to go over the entire piece of cherry paper, which is going to start to bring out those lines even more and make everything slightly more defined for me so I don't have to look quite as hard. Deepens the color just a bit, but it doesn't take too much away from it. Once I finish with that, I'm going to take the gla my gathered twigs. And I don't do every one, but I'm just going to make some of the planks darker. I'm going to use my walnut stain, but instead of using the pad, I'm going to use a piece of the cut and dry foam, just so I can get a little more control. this one slightly more. I'm going to take my gathered twigs marker and I'm going to use just the fine end and I'm going to run it over some of these folds and then run my finger over just to blend it out. I think that's just gonna define my score lines a little bit more which will make me a little happier with the background than I was the first time. Now you could always take more time when you're scoring this and have 
your planks also be like offset so that everything's not in a straight line. You know, like this one could be, then you can have one come here and one bigger there, but that's just too much work for me just for a card and stuff. I know that sounds horrible, but it really is. Like that's, that's a lot of time to plan that all out and get it all to score for you and everything else. And if you hear jumping on the floor and stuff, that would be my son. It's Friday and I didn't have to work today, so he's playing and stuff while I came down to do this. My nephew's coming over for a sleepover, so... Sounds like he's going to come through the floor. And there is the wood grain background technique that I used on my balloon card. Um, here, I'll show it to you guys really quick on a photo on my phone. Give me two seconds here to find it because I didn't have that part prepared, of course. So then when I finished the card, what I did was I took little brads and alcohol inked them and cut out balloons and things like that. And there's another angle of it. So once you get it um, decorated up and everything, you don't notice the color difference as much because there's not as much of it showing. Anyway, I hope if you like it, you try it, and I will be back with another video hopefully soon. Bye for now.